Welcome back everyone. Just a quick update from the dry docks. This is Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks. I'm going to give you an update on a couple of projects that I'm working on right now. I know you guys have been following along. Hopefully you like these new uh, formats of videos uh, a lot more, uh, a lot shorter. But two things I'm working on right now. And this is the uh, Alvin that you can see in the background. And we'll go take a look at that one first. And what I've basically been doing uh, is installing all of the flotation foam. And you can see a lot of it in there. Uh, reason for that, I had actually initially loaded up the keels because I was going to power this with uh, lithium polymer batteries, which are you know fairly light and high density batteries. But since then, I changed my plan. I put a big sealed lead acid battery that you can see underneath the, uh, the bottom there, and that added weight. So I have to add foam to compensate for it which is not a big deal. I got lots and lots of room in there. Uh, I'm gonna say I've probably got almost one and a half liters of um, displacement for foam uh, in the back area and then also tucked up in the front. I actually had a chance to play with the boat in the swimming pool while I was working out some of the trim. It's tons of fun, uh, super maneuverable. One thing I will say, those thrusters are virtually useless, so I think uh, depth control is for the most part going to be controlled by the ballast system, but we'll see once we get it all done Second thing is the uh, Gato uh, Still working on that you can see since my last update. I've installed the rear deck uh, I've also replaced some of the conning tower details and secured that all in place and then the big job that didn't turn out to be a big job is I cut out the watertight compartment so this is an angled boat. Typically, it would be all sealed over uh, as a big dry hull boat. So I cut that out with a, you know, with a grinder, uh, and it took probably about three and a half minutes. It was not bad at all. Challenge I got right now, do I simply try and pull the rest of it out and risk damaging the hull? Because as you can see, um, you know, in some places it's separated from the hull. Um, that's not a good thing, but I can epoxy that back in place. I'll have to make some saddles anyway to maintain alignment. Um, here's the old power unit for it, the twin, <laughs> twin motor um, drive unit for the Gato, but that's all being removed. Uh, I've removed the control surface, uh, assembly, rear dive planes, and rudders. I'm uh, going to clean those up, make them look like something a little bit more authentic. So. That is where we're at. Just wanted to give you that update. Uh, thanks for joining me. Going to be lots more soon. Hopefully we'll get that Alvin all trimmed out here, uh, you know, this week or by the latest probably on the weekend. And you can see it in operation. So thanks again for joining me. We'll catch you next time.